We'll move on to the Division Four football championships. These awesome brackets brought to you by Scorebook Live. Congratulations, Patrick Henry, Del Norte, University City, and Coronado for moving on to the next round. You guys are good enough at football that you don't warrant us talking about you here on this show. As much as I'm sure Tommy would actually like to talk about Friday night's Coronado University City final, this is not his outlet to do it. He instead gets to talk about his alma mater, La Jolla Country Day, and their game, the 8-9 against Mount Miguel Matadors. Um, La Jolla Country Day, a lot of offense produced this season in a couple of high-scoring losses. So we know that they can get it done on the offensive front. Question is, can they lock it down on the defense or on the other side of this game? I don't think enough has been given uh, credit-wise to Troy Starr, and this is his first foray into the playoffs with a Mount Miguel team that you could look at and go, all right, they could get a little bit of some, something done here. So it, this is um, the always the toss-up, but I, I will be curious uh, if it ultimately means anything because the next game waiting is Patrick Henry. Tommy, you want to take the first shot at this one? Yeah, I'll go with this. I mean, this, this is actually going to be an interesting game because – what I thought was going to happen was Country Day was going to get stuck playing Francis Parker again. So that would have, that would have been funny because they, they played last week. Have to do it just all over again the next week, but with bigger implications. So I'm glad that these two teams don't have to play each other twice in two weeks. So that's kind of weird. But I, I think Mount Miguel, just looking at common opponents, I know that's not always the best way to do it. They only have one common opponent, and that is Crawford. Mount Miguel shut out Crawford, handled him pretty well, and Country Day gave up some points to Crawford, and it was a much closer game. So. Just based off that, I know there's much more scientific, better ways to do it, but just based off that, I'm going to go with the upset. If you can call it an upset when it's an 8-9 game and go with Mount Miguel. You can, you can call it an upset, and we don't care about scientific can call it ways. Can <laughs> yes, but for the sixteen people, call. for the sixteen people that got that, we will call it the Ryan Meyer Bowl. Um, <laughs> Colton Toll. I think this could be a very high-scoring game on both sides, but I think Country Day is more fit to win a shootout game, so I'd go Country Day wins. Bodie De Silva, who do you have winning the inaugural Ryan Meyer Bowl? Yeah, uh, this is one of the few cases where I'll take the smaller school. I think Country Day is uh, put up, but hopefully they'll they'll get an awful gallon show in that favor. Hey, can I add something to mine too? So, I mean, I, the reason why I hesitated, hesitated to do it based off of common opponents is that Mal Miguel, when they play, or sorry, when Crawford played Country Day, they scored 22 points in the fourth quarter, which leads me to lead probably start his route. But, you know, but you I, know. I had to go with something. I, I, need, I need some sort of statistics to back that up, but that, that is what I'm going with. Deal. Um, Recording in progress. Apologize for just pressing that. Um, Rancho Buena Vista. Versus Mar Vista. RVV, they came out of the gate really hot this season. And then Lee caught up with them a little bit. And they, I think, lost some of the sizzle and momentum. But we saw at the peak that this is a very, very good team. I have them winning this one. I have them challenging Del Norte. I have them making some noise here. But we just also went through an entire bracket where we picked the 12-5 upset to happen. So uh, I'm curious if anybody here is willing to go out on a ledge in this bracket, Tommy Morris. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm doing a little more research into their loss against Fallbrook because that's the one that's concerning to me. So I don't know if they had injuries or, or kids out from being sick or whatever it may be, but th that's the one that, that is really the head scratcher for me as far as, you know, what, what they've been doing and, and how they, they started their season. I, I, I still do think that they're going to win this game against Mar Vista, but I, I don't have them going much further than that. I, I, I would say that's probably where, where they will. Um, Probably one win, and then that might be it. But um, RBV, a very good team. This half of the bracket is super loaded. I, it, it's like almost like the, it's just a much more difficult path to get there from that from that top half of the bracket. But um, I, I like RBV. Don't disagree with you on the strength of schedule up there in the bracket, Colton. RBV is a really, really good five and five team. You know, Marvista's rebuilding. You know, this should be good in a couple of years, but I think RBV handles this year. Bodie De Silva from Scorebook Live. Your take on the five twelve game. <laughs> one of the county's leading rushers. They did get caught up a little tougher of a league schedule for them, and that was really, you know, how good Mount Carmel, Poway, RB were. But uh, I think RBB can find, uh, find themselves here in the first round. It'll be tough next round if they can get that far, but I like them in the 5-12 matchup. Um, 
Montgomery and Parker, uh, big school, small school, 7-10 game. This feels like this could go a million different ways. Uh, I will go with Montgomery winning a close one, though. I think that they got a little bit of size and a little bit of speed on the Parker Lancers. Colton? Montgomery does have some big boys. I can confirm that. They're, they're a really good team. They got they got a really good coaching staff up in Montgomery. I'd say they win again this game, too. Tommy? Yeah, 6-3. and three, Pretty impressive. Uh, they, they just blanked Chula Vista. That's a good win there. They blanked Castle Park. I'm trying to look at all the shots. Blank Castle Park, blank Crawford. Um, held Ysidro and, yes, yeah, held San Ysidro to one score. This is a good defense. I, I think Parker might struggle a little bit with this defense. I think Montgomery wins this game. And Montgomery, you know, they, they, they're a good team. So I, I like Montgomery in this game against Francis Parker. Bodie De Silva from Scorebook Live. Parker pulls this one out, though. I, Chris White says dynamic playmaker can really do everything for Parker. I think he has a huge game and leads him to a first. Next game, we got Sweetwater, the Red Devils, um, and a team that. Uh, we got the Sweetwater Red Devils, a team that I was very big on. They are going to be the sneakiest, best sub-500 team in San Diego, and I stand by entirely that. I think that they uh, make a very deep run here into the playoffs, and I think that starts with their win against the 11-seeded Valhalla Norseman. Tommy Morris. So we, I mean, we talk about teams that have kind of challenged themselves. You look at Valhalla, they, they had to play – Granite Hill, San Pasquale, and Mount Carmel this year. I know those games did not turn out well for them, but those are tough games. They've, they're a little more battle-tested, I think, than, uh, than Sweetwater is. And I know the record's not great, and Sweetwater's got a better record. Sweetwater's at home. I'm, I'm aware of all these things, but I am going to go with the upset here. I'm going to go with Valhalla. I cannot turn off this ad. <laughs> <laughs> Colton Toll, talk over the ad and give us your take. Sweetwater is really good, man. They're coming off five straight wins, 4-0 in league, undefeated league champs. I think I'm going to ride the momentum. Sweetwater wins. It goes on to face Coronado. Bodie De Silva, your final take here on the Division Four Championships. Yeah, another another, another close one. Um, I think Sweetwater's rushing attack will be too much for Valhalla. I think they'll just kind of uh, from there. But I think Valhalla's score enough to make it close. 